Hello viewers, welcome to this video. In this video, we will be looking at the November 2016 Science Paper 1, Section B, Question 7. Question 7 reads, Figure 7.1 shows a 6 volt power supply connected to two resistors which are in parallel. Figure 7.1 shows a 6 volt power supply connected to two resistors which are in parallel okay so our resistors are in parallel we have a 4 ohm resistor and a 12 ohm resistor and they're in parallel and they're connected to a 6 volt uh, power supply all right uh, let's look at a a is saying calculate the effective resistance of the two resistors Calculate the effective resistors, resistance of the two resistors. Okay, what is effective resistance? Effective resistance is just the total resistance. How much resistance are these two resistors contributing to the whole circuit? That is the effective resistance. All right, so uh, since we only have these two resistors, the work becomes easier for us because there is a simplified formula for calculating effective resistance or total resistance of two resistors and it only works for two remember this formula only works for two if you have three resistors you need to use uh, the formula one over the total resistance is equal to one over r1 plus one over r2 plus one over r3 plus until whatever number of resistors please i'm begging you you do not use the formula i'm about to use to calculate effective resistance or total resistance for resistors more than two in parallel all right so the effective resistance is equal to r1 times r2 divided by r1 plus r2 okay uh now what is our r1 and our r2 whichever can be r1 so i'm going to say that this is equal to uh, 4 multiplied by 12 divided by 4 plus 12 4 multiplied by 12 is 48 and 4 plus 12 is 16 so i'll have my total resistance is equal to 48 divided by 16 so 48 divided by 16 what is 48 divided by 16 uh, 48 divided by 16 is equal to 3 so 3 so the total resistance is equal to 3 ohms so 3 ohms there so the effective resistance is 3 ohms all right we proceed uh, Calculate the value of the current in, the value of the current in one, the 4 ohm resistor. Uh, this being in parallel is relatively easy. Why am I saying it's relatively easy? For parallel connection, the potential difference across each resistor is the same. Now, look at this the battery or the power supply here is also in parallel to the 12 ohm resistor and the 4 ohm resistor therefore the potential difference across the 4 ohm resistor is equal to the emf of the power supply which is 6 volts so we are going to say that the potential difference across the 4 ohm resistor is equal to 6 volts and knowing that uh, voltage is equal to current multiplied by resistance or current is equal to voltage divided by resistance what we have is current is equal to 6 volts divided by 4 ohms so 6 divided by 4 what is 6 divided by 4? 6 divided by 4 is 
so 1.5 so our current will be 1.5 1.5 amperes or 1.5 amps okay that is the current flowing through the 4 ohm resistor the second part is saying the value of the current in the battery so the value of the current in the battery in the battery is the total current flowing through the circuit because we only have two and to do that we should use the effective resistance of the circuit the effective resistance of the circuit which is the total resistance so in this case current is equal to uh, voltage divided by resistance which will be equal to six divided by three six divided by three what is six divided by three this is equal to two two what two amps so it's two amps so two amps is it the current flowing through the battery all right we proceed to c c is would the addition of an extra resistor between a and b in parallel with the original resistors increase or decrease the current in the battery would the addition of an extra resistor between a and b in parallel with the original resistors increase or decrease the current in the battery explain your answer all right so what is there is for parallel circuits uh, the first thing that we should know is that the effective resistor is always smaller than the smallest resistor so we've seen here that the effective resistance is 3 ohms and our smallest resistor in this circuit is 4 ohms so 3 is smaller than 4 so if we place a 2 ohm resistor in parallel let's presume we place a 2 ohm resistor since we've not been told the value if we place a 2 ohm resistor it means that the the effective resistance will be smaller than the than the 2 ohm now if the resistance drops the current increases if the resistance drops the current increases okay meaning that current is inversely proportional to resistance okay so would the addition increase or decrease it would definitely increase the current it will definitely increase the current in the battery okay it would increase the current in the battery because the effective resistance see, uh, decreases so it would increase the current because the total resistance would reduce because it would reduce okay uh -huh. all right this brings us to the end of this video thank you for watching the video uh don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you're notified each time we post a video thank you very much see you next time